The day is finally the day here. Is finally the day is finally here. We are here at the Tour Custom Psycho Shop. We're gonna be installing the uh, Stage 2 on the 2024 Lowrider ST. But before that, we're gonna be doing a base run. And I know there's one thing you guys all wanna know. Mike? What is the numbers? That's because the loud part doesn't work right now. Hi. What are we looking at? From stock. From stock. <clears throat> best run, 89 horsepower, 111 foot pounds of torque. Nice. Not bad. Not bad for a stock bike. But we're gonna see the type of damage and the type of numbers we're gonna get out of this thing once we uh, put this big on. Let's get it work. Old school Jerry in the building. The second coolest white guy you know. <laughs> oh, look, man, you, you've been demoted, Jerry. I have not been demoted. Mr. Diaz wrenching his own bike. <laughs> Just in case, watch your fingers and you don't cut them. All right, so let's do this my way. Got to say, this has been pretty fun today. Pop it up upstairs now. First time that I'm ever kind of taking apart any type of engine work. We're doing anything like this. I've done, I know a lot of you guys, oh, you, you don't do your own wrenching, you don't do this. I've done exhaust installs, I've done little stuff like that, cosmetic, but stuff like this, internal stuff, um, I mean, I'm learning from Mike right now, so who knows, maybe for the next bike, I just do everything on my own. So we got the lifters out, um, putting the, the new lifters in from fueling. Oh, I can't wait till uh, this whole bike is all together, man. Yes. Like, grab the top and bottom rocket one with each hand and wait a little bit. And the outside one. ones. Yeah, just do the outside ones. There should be six of them. I fly back every night. I... No, not this. It's late. Okay. Nice and quiet at night. Are you it's dripping? You're dripping. 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 you what we're doing now is that we're gonna be popping in the 483 Sakurama cam in it. So we're gonna be lubing this up. A lot of lube. 
a lot of lube. I'm learning a lot of stuff today, man. It's pretty cool. Just like that. All right, you can't spin right. it when it's all in. So now just lube the end lobe. When it's all the way in, you can't spin it. Oh, okay. It, it won't sit back there. It'll be, it'll be pulled forward when we're done. So just lube the front part of it now then? Yep. Then what do we do? We just put the cam plate over it and then we push it all together? Put the cam plate over it and then we'll, we're going to torque it down in the proper sequence. Okay. With the lactate. Sweet. Yes. So am, am I officially a, uh, a renter now or what? No. We're close. God damn it. You got, you're not officially a renter until you have your own tools. That's right. I, I do have some at home, but it's like three of them only. <laughs> <laughs> Anything in specific that we should be letting all know when installing the oil pump? or plate or even cam in it. Yeah, make sure you don't tear the O-ring all the way on the inside of the we're bike just, will sump. We are just thinking about that. And make sure you don't forget that O-ring. Because then you gotta reopen everything up. So that's just a second guess yourself. Yep. Two important O-rings. Do I get a B plus or A minus on my test today? C plus? I'll give you a B. God damn it, man. A B. <laughs> what, 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 what can I do for so much credit? Discuss that off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Loctite. What I like about the SNS oil pump or cam plates is they got the. It's been a long day, all you gotta do is follow the numbers. And you can't fuck it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. A, B, C, D for the oil pump screws. A. What comes after A? B. B. Because it's the grade you gave me. So this wasn't supposed to be like a how-to tutorial video because we've done it like several times here in previous videos, but more so just an overlook on on the cam job that we're doing and the stage two, the whole kit and everything. So. For those of you guys who are in the area, you want to get some work done on your bike, make sure to hit Mike up. Um, stage two, man, especially for, for the Milwaukee Eights guys, these bikes, they run really, really quiet. And the stage two is one way to just wake that bike up, make it sound like a Harley, like it's really supposed to sound like. And most of all, just make it, uh, make it perform like one, man. Other way, go forward. Do one full rotation. Good. Five foot pounds. Five foot pounds. To start. To start. Two, three, four, five, six, A, B. Give me another rotation. The reason why I keep my finger over here is because I've been shot with oil so many times. Uh, so I don't want to get hit. Keep going one more time. Is that the only thing you've been shot at? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. Second spec is 10 foot, but there you go. Your final torque. Which is what now? 10. 10, gotcha. And then um, since all this is gonna be put in now, Next up is going to be uh, lifters, right? Well, we're going to, we have to, uh, we got to set the sprockets to make sure that they're oh, okay. straight. So we're going to see, just so that we can pick which shim we put behind the cam chain sprocket. That's right, that's right. Fueling. Look at that. That's which one? That's, that's the Harley stock. That'll throw the timing off. Get it on, right? Yeah, can we get it on? It's real tight. Nice, right? Perfect. So, no rocking on that one. To get them on. Then I have a gear puller that I pull them off with. Now we will take this down by the twig. 
Lenny, can you have that torque wrench, please? Sure, Mike. Here you go. Slow your roll. There you go. You got all these favorite. Well, this right here is one of my uh, favorite parts to look at. Dropping the lifters in here. I'm just gonna soak it up with some oil. The studs are going in, right? These are from SNS. The yeah. previous ones that we had used on the other builds before were from Fueling, Fueling right? Yeah, they're they're the same. The uh, the only thing I like about these is the top of it has a hex opening, so you can put a uh, an Allen key in there and torque them down. Where the fuelings, you had to get two two nuts, lock mm -hmm. them together, and then use a wrench or a half right, inch right. socket. So it was just more time consuming. And these are actually a few bucks cheaper too. Nice. So if you want to explain real quick why uh, why we do this to the top, we change out the studs on the rocker arms so everybody can understand a little bit more. This strengthens up the top a little bit. I have seen it, especially on your previous lowrider, where the ARP bolts that previously um, come in here that you know hold the rocker shafts down, mm -hmm. they back out. I remember. Yeah, and it, ha it, it happened on your low rider. Strengthening kit. Two thumbs up. Bleed holes on the M8s face each other. On the twin cams, they face the back. But that's, well, that's fueling. So. Spacing these properly. Huge difference on these plastic stock ones here, man. Oh, you're uh, you're spacing out the lifter from the cuffs. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, because there is there's play in them. Gotcha. Okay. There's play in them. So what? If you read the manual, just set the torque wrench first. Hundred. 100 inch pounds. Inch, not foot. Inch. So what, is it the reason you're, you're spacing them out so it won't rub against it or? Right, so. Well, seems like I'm. I'm when you, when you tighten this, the cuff's gonna wanna go that way. So you space it here and here. Gotcha, okay. On the thrust side. Stick two thousandths feel gauge, feeler gauge in there and there. And then torque this. Now we're gonna check. Make sure the rise and fall. Yeah, that's fine, because I'll bring them, I can still bring them uh, Monday. All right, guys, so we got rid of the chrome that this bike comes with, which I don't know why they still do chrome on a low rider and see, but went out with the black finish. It looks much cleaner. Really, really nice. Do you know why it came with chrome? Hey, not, because chrome will take you home? No, it came with chrome. Or chrome will make you bone. No. God damn it. It came with chrome so that you would spend the money on black. Oh. Once you go black, you end up in a wheelchair. <laughs> See it? <laughs> Once you go black, you're gonna need a wheelchair. It's in the movie Wheel Run White Chicks. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Oh, I, I've never heard it. From it's a great movie. movie. It's from a movie. It's like my phone anyway. I have phone spawning the Instagrammers. So you uh, lube the tip? Lube the tip, drop it in the hole. Drop it in the hole, baby. E oh. for exhaust. Outer. Yep. Lube the other tip. Damn, how many tips do you have, man? I got four tips and four holes. It's a hell of a Friday night. Two for exhaust, two for intake. So exhaust. Okay. Cool. See, I, I get a I get an A today. You got an A today. Today I get an A. Yes! So in the kit from fueling that they include, 
is an updated O-ring. I don't know if you can see it, there's a small black O-ring here, and then this O-ring. Makes everything nice and tight. Mm -hmm. This is the stock O-ring and all this play. And that's where there was oil getting in. So the guys from fueling told me that more oil was getting sucked in here, getting past the breather and adding to the oil coming out of your uh, breather holes in your, in your head there. So they, they added a second O-ring in here to make this a little tighter so that okay. you can cut down on some of it. I don't know how true it is, but that's just what they told me from fueling. Nice. Fuel injectors. Finally, all buttoned up, all done. We are gonna do the first startup. Well, Mike did the first startup of the day. I still haven't heard it. This is my first time hearing this thing. Uh, very, very eager to know what, what it kind of sounds like. Um, right before we do that, I should turn it on. Did we talk about that towards the end? Because, yeah, it's, it's time! Wow. Wow. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Expected. It sounds amazing. That sounds really good. Um, this is a combination of the uh, 483 Psychorama cam with the SP Concept uh, 2 to 1 exhaust. It, it sounds absolutely amazing, guys. I mean, you gotta hear it in person. Uh, videos, it's gonna sound good, but it sounds even better in person. Um, nice gallop to it, nice low, deep low at that. Um, the bike still needs to be tuned, so tomorrow you're gonna be uh, doing the tuning. So uh, today's Monday. By Wednesday, we should have it ready. We're gonna be at Ruts. This video might be up. No, it might not be up. It might be up Friday. Um, but the bike will be ready. I'm heading up to Laconia this week, actually. So we're gonna be riding up there. Um, so if you're up in the area, stop by, take a look at the bike, say what's up. But real quick, let's just go over all the components that went into the uh, stage two. Um, so with the cam, right? The 483 Psychorama cam. Magic. 483 Cycle Rama Camp, SNS pump and plate. Uh, we've got a Revolution Performance 55 millimeter intake with 5.8 injectors from fueling. 5.8? Uh, there were 5.8s? 5.8s. So 5.3s, not 5. Yeah, 5.8s from fueling. We've got uh, a fueling air cleaner, the V4 air cleaner. Uh, we blacked out your tubes. We got fuel, uh, solid push rods, blacked out the tubes, blacked out the tapper covers. Super clean. Uh, put the SNS stud and nut kit on top. Um, that's about it for now. All the bells and whistles went into this thing. Um, if you guys want to see a full breakdown of all the parts on um, stage two, we made a previous video about a week or so. Um, so check that out. So if you are interested in doing uh, a, a similar build like this and you're in the local area, stop by. Watch the video first, first of all, so you get all the parts that went into it. And then hit up Mike so you guys can stop by, get your work done here. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I, I really can't wait to get on this bike. I want to give you guys a first impression. Ride, first ride impression of the bike. I'm so excited to get to talk and put my words together. Um, 
Uh, the trash cover as well. You oh yeah, we, that on we did the trash uh, trans cover. Uh, there's also, you know, fueling race lifters and SNS tap and cuffs yeah, and yeah. things like that. All bunch of stuff in it. Um, I'm happy, man. I, oh, I, I was really happy with the sound that the the 475, the 472 made on the low rider S. And I want something some I wanted something similar to that. And this cam right here, sound wise, if you're looking for a similar sound to, to the SNS cam. It, it's gonna change once I lower the idle. Yeah, that's what so you can see how the gold is starting to match some of the paint. Yo. Yeah. Nice. Sick man. Uh yeah, this is my stage two build with which I actually helped put together because I'm a rancher now. Even though Mike doesn't think so. It's not a fabricator. Yeah. Anyways, that's gonna be it. All the information is down below. If you want to see the parts video, I'm gonna be linked that at the end. Mike's information is gonna be down below. So if you are in the local area, you wanna get your bike built out, you just wanna ask some questions. Give them a call. If you want to order some of these parts, they could do it here for you as well. Um, if not, I do have some affiliate links down below so you guys can click those links, order your parts, and that's it. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace!